Today I am here with a brand new style from Tress Allure. They just recently launched three new styles in their $99 collection. Yes, you heard that right. This wig is $99. This is Short Shag in a brand new gradient color. We'll talk about color toward the end. She is made with their stylable, effortless, heat-friendly synthetic fiber, and I can't wait to tell you all about this cute shag. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook, and I'm partnering with Tress Allure to bring you this review. They sent me their three brand new $99 styles so that I could show all of my wig sisters. They have actually done some really amazing things in the past couple of years. I am really impressed with Tress Allure. They're um, trying to do as much as they can to create wigs that the wig community wants. And they understand that not everybody can afford the more luxury synthetic wigs, and so they came out with these $99 beauties. I will make sure there's a link below to the name brand wigs website because I can save you 30% there, but any retailer that carries Tressalure will have these wigs. Let's take a look at this one from all sides. For my shag lovers, this is fun. Really, really piecey. There's a slight, slight wave to the fibers. And if you like big hair, this one has some permatease, but it's not a lot of permatease. So Tressalure is saying, let me just look at what they said, because they told me this is a special kind of permatease. They said it's their special pre-teased roots provide lift without any bulk or frizziness. So if you're familiar with permatease, sometimes on heavy permatease wigs, there is a lot of bulk there, like very pillowy. This isn't, really, I can't feel poofy, pillowy permatease. So I don't know what they're doing over there, but they are really innovating on a lot of things. And in this case, we've got volume without that super thick, poofy permatease and no real visible permatease. So on a basic cap like this, otherwise known as a machine made cap, when you don't have a lace front, I'm sorry, not lace front, but a, a mono part, lace part or mono top, sometimes you can see visible permatease because they need something to hide the cap. But the way that they have constructed the style, you cannot see any permatease. So I'm really impressed. I do think this has quite a bit of volume, but just not the traditional permatease to back it up. So we've got, this is what a basic cap looks like, like I said, otherwise known as a machine made cap. Open wefting, soft ear tabs with lots and lots of hair sewn in onto the ear tabs for really good coverage on the sides. Extended nape and we've got Velcro adjusters. I'm going to cinch this one in a little bit. Tress Allure, and we'll just talk about fit right now. Tress Allure is known, pardon me you guys, I am having whew, a hot flash. I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to go on. But if I start to get shiny, you know why. Tress Allure is known for running really true to average. So I have a pretty small head measurement, 21 and a quarter circumference, and I'm just over 12 inches ear to ear, and I'm 12 and a half front to nape. And all my measurements are below in all of my videos. And I cinched this in quite a bit, and now it fits me a lot better on my circumference. So I would say this is running really true to average, and I am getting some extra cap up on top, which gives this a lot of room. So basically, if you're true to average, slightly larger, or slightly smaller, I think this is gonna fit. Now I had mentioned that these are made with heat friendly fibers. My preference when it comes to wigs, if I'm going to wear a short piece, I prefer heat friendly fibers. I just think they are so realistic looking and feeling. They feel incredibly soft, incredibly silky. They don't have a shine to them like regular synthetic can have. So if you've been avoiding heat friendly wigs, if you watch my videos, I say this in all of the short heat friendly videos, because I really don't think you should worry about heat friendly fibers on short wigs. I personally prefer them and they're not going to have any additional care requirements over a regular synthetic. Plus, all of this baked in. So you wouldn't have to restyle this ever if you didn't want to. And that's what makes this different from human hair, which would need to be restyled at least every time you wash it. But with these synthetic wigs, even heat friendly synthetic, the style is baked in, making them incredibly convenient 
and throw and go. I feel like I'm missing something. It seems like I just breezed through this whole review, but I covered fit, permatease, so, you know, medium density, but definitely, I think the biggest takeaway is this has a ton of volume. Very voluminous on the top. If you love volume, you will like this. If you, on the other hand, you don't, you feel like you get overwhelmed by wigs a lot, or maybe you're unsure, grab yourself a headband. I link my favorite headbands in the, I, in the description of all videos where I talk about headbands, and they're so easy to wear. You just kind of throw them over the wig, and then you just play with the wig. So if the volume is what you're trying to tamp down, then just smooth it down. You can tuck the hair on the sides, and you will reduce the volume by half easily it makes a huge difference and i think when we're new to wig wearing we just don't know what we like what's going to work for us and we make purchases sometimes that we're unhappy about once we get the wig and and maybe you can't return the wig maybe you don't want to return the wig styling your wig will help a lot and these headbands are inexpensive and they're perfect for wigs so i just wanted to throw that in there because there goes my dog <laughs> i locked him in my bedroom and my son must be home um because he's a barker so anyway so just knowing that you can play with your wigs and that you can style them will probably make a really big difference and help you to expand and grow with your wigs so maybe you have a wig that you don't love right now you never know what you'll like two months from now so just style it up and work with it let's talk about color this is one of their brand new gradient colors that they recently launched with this launch and it is so gorgeous so the codes, there are a lot of them. 12 slash 22 slash 27 slash 25 are eight, meaning that it's rooted with a medium brown. This looks like a gray to me. It is a very, very ashy blonde. Let me take it off. It can sometimes be better if I get out of the frame. A very ashy blonde, a little bit of a darker nape, as you can see there. And it absolutely looks like a kind of a light brown, grayish color. You'll get a really good sense of this outside, but if you are looking for ashy, you don't want warmth, you don't want red, you don't want like an outright gray, but you don't mind it sort of looking gray, this could be the color for you. And it definitely has like lighter, ends and then it does get darker back here at the nape so ashy kind of leaning toward gray and it is absolutely rooted though so do keep that in mind all right let's go outside so you can see this color outside thank you to trust allure for giving me the chance to show this and thank you for watching i'll talk to you soon quick look in late afternoon sunlight I just pulled her out of the box. Haven't filmed my review yet. This uh, sunlight, because of the time of day, is very, very warm. So it's gonna warm up this color more than if it were cloudy or earlier in the day. There you go. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Here are a few videos I think you might enjoy. Go ahead and click on one and watch.